Okay, so today we're reviewing this product. It's an OBD2 diagnostic scanner for vehicles. Uh, it is made, and I'm assuming I'm saying this right, MTFO. Uh, this is on Amazon, and I believe it's like $29.99. Great price for this kind of a scanner. And we're going to open this up here and see and give this a test. Here's an instruction booklet with it. You can clearly see that. And then there's the scanner. So now I'm going to pause the video because I'm going out to our church van that is a full-size van and it's got the check engine light on. So we're going to test this out, plug it in, and I'm going to show you the video of that and see how this works. Here I'm in here checking out this OBD2 scanner and I just went into uh, voltage, check the voltage before I turn the truck on and then after and it's giving me a current reading. This is a great scanner. Uh, the next one you'll see is where we read the codes that it's got a check engine light on. We'll see what that is. Simple thing to use, simple um, uh, instructions. It's got a video you can watch. Great, great tool. Check it out. Here we are at the full-size van. This church van, it's a Ford. And uh, it has a check engine light on. I have put the key in the ignition is all I've done. And here's our uh, MTFO OD, OBD2 scanner. So I'm going to plug this in. Right underneath here you can see there's a plug in for it to go. And looky there. This has already come on. So now we're going to go into setup. Scroll down to setup. And then we're going to hit the OK button. We're going to select language. Obviously, we want English. Then there's units of measure, uh, English, like that, and then exit out. Now we're going to go up to the code for it to read and see what's going on here with this van. Now, hit OK, and it's scanning. It's just as simple. Waiting for vehicle to respond. Verify that the ignition is on and check. Oh, I didn't turn the ignition on. Now the ignition is on. So we'll do it again. Codes found. Four. Read. So here we go. Evaporative emissions leak detected. Small leak. P0442. It's got the code in there. Tells you. Now you can just hit the scroll down. 446 evaporative emission system vent control circuit. Mission system leak detected. Large leak. Scrolling down. 4457. Evaporative emission system leak detected. Fuel cap loose or off detected the small leak so there you have it just that simple there's a host of everything other things you can do clear the code get the vehicle's info um doing a review on this obd2 w4 i will plug it in and show you how everything works underneath the dash down here there's going to be a plug-in right underneath there to plug it in that it's right like that Come back to your screen, which I'm in the sunlight all of a sudden. Okay. okay. Back to the screen. And you can hit OK on the OBD2. It's going to carry your codes, monitors, and stuff like that. You can read DTCs, hit OK. No codes, exit. Just hit the exit button. It's pretty simple. Just back and forth. 
He hit yes one dude. Um, if you go to see, you go to setup, which is over there, hit OK, and and it tells you how to set it up for your language and units of measure. It's, I've got it set for English and um, let's see here, English and not metric, but um, yeah, it's just English. So that's it. That. It's a nice little tool. You want to read live data? You can go to. You want to read live data? Go to. Uh, let's see here. Where would data stream? Okay. It's going to read all your live data for you. You can clear code. You can check fuel pressure. I believe you can check fuel pressure. Let's see if it's got. Map. RPM. I didn't see it where it was actually reading fuel pressure, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have it on here somewhere. It's quite a bit of coverage. I don't see anything that clears your brake codes or checks your brake codes. Um, I'm kind of new at this, so I'm trying to figure it out still. Fuel system monitor is okay. It doesn't actually use the pressure that I see right there. Oxygen monitor. It's just okay. I got my OBD2 code reader and code clearer. This is the main reason why I got this. It's the check engine light. When it comes on, it slows the car down, and uh, it could be a number of reasons for it, but. You know, you can take it to the mechanic and have them clear the code for you or get something like this and clear the code yourself until you decide to either spend the money to change the engine, fix the problem or whatever it might be. So we're going to see if we can clear the code. I'm going to remove the cover to get access to the outlets where the pins go in. I'm gonna go plug it in. Code reader comes on. See if we can read the code and tell me what it is. Codes found one. Control, trouble codes, 07E8P1326. That's the code usually, it means a knock sensor. You can look it up on the internet to see what it means. Uh, I'm gonna exit and then see if I can move up to clear the code here. Okay, erase trouble codes. Are you sure? Yes, erasing codes, erase failure, turn key on. Okay, okay, turn key on, engine off. Erasing code where turn key on, engine off, press any key to continue. All right, well, it didn't. It says it didn't, but sometimes when you turn it off, wait a few seconds, 
and turn it on again, it might work. Nope, it didn't turn it off. I just wanted to add this in that I did wait a few seconds, about a minute, and then uh, try to clear the code again, and uh, it did clear the code. Okay, hi guys. Um, I wanted to write, or I'm sorry, not write, show you guys how this works. Um, the code scanner. I got this on Amazon. Was not that expensive at all. Um, it works great. Colored screen, very easy to use. Um, it's trying to load the code that I'm looking for. You go to read DTC for the code because this is the whole reason why I bought it was because my check engine light was on wanted to check what was going on and there it is that's what I thought was the problem because I could smell a little bit of gas and I was and I've had this issue one other time so I thought this was the problem I wanted to double check so very specific very small leak that's exactly what I was looking for so then you press exit Vehicle info, EVAP, it's got all kinds of settings on here. Um, you want to exit out of the test? Yes. If you go down, it could even check your battery voltage, which is very convenient too. Mine's at 11.9, so probably So I just plug this into my car, 
no codes found. Uh, we'll just show an example here. Go to vehicle information. Just pushing the arrows. And can do. I'm not going to hit this. I don't want people to see my VIN number or anything like that.